Hi there, it's Ms. Novakowski coming to you from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. The math game I'm going to share with you in this video is called Diffie Dozen, and it's from the book Math Fact Fluency. This game focuses on finding the difference, and all you need for this game are two dice and then a partner and 12 counters, just something, you know, like buttons or coins or little gems or something, 12 for each person. Okay, for this game, you need a partner, somewhere to record your scores on, two dice, and then each person needs 12 counters. And you can just lay those out in front of you, maybe organize them so that you know that you've got 12. I'm gonna do two rows of six here, and my partner can do two rows of six, and then we're ready to get started. The goal of the game Diffie Dozen is to end up with the most counters and players take turns rolling the dice. So I'm gonna roll two dice. I look at my two numbers and I have five and four and I look for the difference between the numbers. So the amount of quantity or dots in between those. So the difference between five and four is one. Again, you can have a piece of paper here if you need to draw a number line or some dots to count and compare. Um, that's just there to use if you need it. So the difference between five and four is one. So I take one counter for my partner and add it to my pile. So my partner now takes a turn and they've rolled six and four. So the difference between six and four, I could count up four, five, six. So the difference is two. So they take two of my counters and add that to their pile. And then it's my turn again. The difference between five and three, again, use a number line, count the dots, count on, two, three, four, five. The difference between two and five is three, so I get to take three counters from my partner. And again, the goal is to have the most counters at the end of the game. My partner's turn, three and one, difference of two, so they take two counters from mine. And you keep going back and forth like that, taking turns finding the difference. if we rolled a two and a six, another way to think about finding the difference is using a number line. So I've written six as the greater number here and two as the lower number. And thinking about that space in between two and six, how many more is six? What is the difference, the space in between two and six? So I could count up two, three, four, five, six, which is one, two, three, four. So if you roll the dice and both numbers are the same, in this case they're both five, what is the difference between five and five? There's zero difference. So the answer is zero, so you, you don't take any counters from your partner when the numbers on both dice are the same. You keep taking turns back and forth until one person has all the counters or you do 10 rounds and a round is my turn and then my partner's turn. That's one round. So I've done 10 rounds and I can see that I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many must my partner have? They definitely have more than me. So they've won the game, but how many counters do they have? 